Hello everyone, we are Ave. Now, in the spirit of the International Women Conference in Bali that's coming up, we've gathered up some of our closest friends to talk about how exactly we feel as women entrepreneurs, the challenges we face, and how we overcome them. to see the high growth of yeah. women in IT in Jakarta. Yeah. Now, it, it was actually surprise me too. <laughs> yeah. To see him surprised. <laughs> so 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 what do you think caused this growth in Jakarta? Like we have so much so many women in IT. Like I said, it surprised me too. So at first I thought I have no idea. But then I said to Dick, um, so I, I, I represent Girls in Tech Indonesia, right? We started in 2011 in Jakarta. Uh, and what we do, we create meetups, monthly meetups, uh, bi monthly meetups. Um, we invite, you know, uh, already successful mentors, women in tech mentors, uh, just to inspire. And I also wrote a book called Girls in Tech to highlight more role models in Which you wrote about me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then uh, I thought uh, it, it's starting with making, uh, you know, sh just showing to the young generation of girls that it's possible that uh, of not having IT background to, you know, to be successful in IT and also that it's cool to have your own IT company, you know, and then to show for me because women uh, works differently. So you have to show how technology can do. So the result first. You have to show the result first, and and then they get excited, right? You cannot show them a bunch of codes. They won't, you know, what's that, you know? But if you show them how technology can make an impact and, you know, help them, it's really... So, so, so you're saying that um, since 2011, we've seen a lot of uh, more senior women in IT, and then the younger women, they look up to them and say, like, oh, wow, I want to yes, do that. Yes, so we have to create that sort of, you know, role models and success stories, and that's what we're trying to create with Girls in Tech Indonesia, right? And uh, and, and if Dick, Dick Costolo asks me that, uh, I'm just trying to say that uh, maybe this series of activities, you know, that uh, help more... Uh, yeah, expose right. this to young girls. Today, like, you know, you're in this industry, and um, are there any issues that women have to deal with anyway? Because, like, I hear some of my friends who are girls, and they are developers, or they're coders, programmers, and they tend to feel alienated because they work among a lot of guys, and they have their you know, boys only topics, sometimes they talk about boys stuff and they tend to feel like I can't relate to that. Is there any issues in that? I think um, the real challenge here is actually for women to prove to themselves that they're actually, or to their peers, that they are as good as the others. So right. you, but like the boys topic, the kind of talk that's yeah. always going to happen in any you know, male dominated mm -hmm. um, industries, right? Saying about the quality of the work, right, right. That's what right. can put women forward. Um, for me, because I was my education background was IT, so I get used to being surrounded by right. a lot of, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah, and they don't intimidate me. Uh, you know, yeah, I, I get a lot of questions actually. Uh, what are the challenges to be women in tech? I said none. <laughs> you know, there's no right. challenge in Jakarta. in Jakarta, and there's no challenge. There are more benefits actually because you're the only girls in the room, for example. You get the attention, right? I mean, not 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 that way, but <laughs> or that way too. That way too. It depends on how you dress. It's that way too. But uh, uh, what I'm saying is, from the media, for example, it's easier to shine because you're oh, the women founder. Let me, you know, write about her. You know, this is really really interesting. Uh, I was in computer science as well. I mean, I'm a computer science graduate. And um, I know, me too, like I never had that problem of being a girl. Um, <laughs> but I realized that it was an issue in 2011 when Sheryl Sandberg and uh, Marissa Mayers brought it up and how they were talking about this issue that we need more women in computer science. And I was like, you do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm one. <laughs> and, and that's when I realized like, oh wow, you know, this is an advantage 
for us. Um, and from that moment on, I decided to kind of let it highlight uh, who I am. But what do you think are the barrier of entry for women into computers? What do you think that barrier is? Basically, um, their own imagination <laughs> of how IT looks like because what they saw now maybe mostly are from the male, right? Male perspective mm -hmm. that is not the same, right? right. What the males love to code like uh, with the coding, yeah? You know, they are into the coding. We, we don't into the coding. We want to see the result, you know, when it, oh, this is how we can do and then we get excited, right? So the way, you know, just the perspective. If if we don't see how it works, we, we just don't we just see code, you know, men and coding and computer and you know, eight hours there. You know, right, right. Boring. So, so, so so for women we need to highlight a different side of computer science, right? Yes. Not, not the hacker, the, the, the wired the fun side. side. We need to highlight the fun side. The fun That's side. That's how we get women to exactly. science.